transcrime was established in 1994. It has uh, carried out more than 150 research projects dealing with uh, transnational and organized financial crime. As a research center, working at a European and transnational level has access to a wide variety of information, ranging from uh, criminal justice statistics to data on seizure and confiscated assets, data on individuals or legal persons targeted by enforcement measures or by sanction, information from public authorities, open sources and media news. What we do is to collect this information, clean, validate, check, combine and process to extract value, employing a multidisciplinary background from statistics to economy, accounting, finance, but also sociology, criminology and law. We carried out an extensive analysis of 56 million firms in Europe to understand anomalies in their ownership structure which may signal illicit behavior, such as money laundering, corruption or collusion, and provide with a map of how anomalies distribute across regions, business sectors, across type of firms. An investigative tool to assess the risk of Terms and to early detect collusive schemes can be used to guarantee that public resources are allocated in a fair way and that eventually we will achieve a fair and equal societal condition. A recent Europol report stresses that more than 80% of criminal network use legal business structures. Legal firms leave traces which reveal, for example, ownership structure, employing certain jurisdiction, certain types of legal arrangements or a specific number and type of owners uh, may be more frequently related to crime. The uh, amount of information on legal person is usable because of the constraints of personal data protection that we have on individuals, do not on legal firms. Panama Papers and other leaks have shed light on jurisdiction and schemes we frequently employed by individuals willing to hide their illegally obtained wealth from crime, corruption, tax evasion, the development of fintech and digital payment system, which allow to move easily funds across jurisdiction in few seconds. And eventually criminals try to exploit asymmetries across countries and move their money where transparency is lower to benefit from the higher secrecy in certain countries. Countries are making very strong efforts establishing registers of beneficial owners and increasing the transparency of the company domain. there is a big room for working with developing countries because developing countries are the for forefront of the prevention and tracing of financial crime schemes and researchers are ready to work with them for achieving these objectives.